One of the easiest things that you can do to improve your golf swing and improve your swing plane is use your stand bag to assist you. What do I mean by that? Well, it's pretty simple right here. You can see I've put the stand bag down just like that. Now, when that stand bag is in that situation, it's roughly at about a 45 degree angle. And when I hold this golf club right here, what you can see is, is that it pretty much runs parallel to this golf bag. So when I set up, if I put the base of the golf bag right about where the hosel of the golf club is, and I take a backswing and I miss it, I'm gonna have the club on a pretty good plane. And you're gonna see when I go through here how the head of the golf club right in this spot here is about where my hands are. If I take the club and I go inside, I'm gonna hit the golf bag. Now I have the bag far enough away so that when I take it back, if you go to a two shot here, Gibbers, the, the, you can see the head of the golf club is about in the, in the middle of that golf bag right there. When I start to come down, my, the golf club is gonna be inside that golf bag. So I'm not gonna hit it on the way down. Now, here's what I would recommend. What I would recommend is do not, do not make full swings with that bag right there. Use it as a practice thing until you get comfortable. I'm gonna use it that way, but I don't want you to use it that way because you will take your golf club, it will impale the bag, it will snap, all kinds of things are gonna, that are bad are gonna happen, and then you're gonna go, well, Breed told me to do it. So I'm telling you not to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So what you're gonna do is you set that up just like that, and now all we're gonna do is just make some half swings. Get a feel of what it feels like to take that club and avoid that bag there and hit. And I'm gonna just do some, some little chips or pitches back here like this. How about a down the line shot there, Givers? There you go. So right here like that, that's good. And you can see that club is tracking pretty much up and down that golf bag. Now, as we start to get comfortable with that, then we start to lengthen. So once we start to get into a lengthening part, now I'm up here, now what you're gonna see is the club shaft at the top here, or three quarters, is about parallel to that bag again. So we get in here, get used to what that feels like. Now I'm gonna make a, and hard to see exactly where that golf club is when I'm swinging, but what you can see is, and Greg, I don't know whether you can replay that again, but watch how straight this golf ball flies. That ball goes out and it's pretty much coming down on the exact same line that it took off on. And it starts in the middle of the target and it finishes in the middle of the target. And as you get more and more comfortable with the club getting on plane, you're gonna start to hit shots that kind of look like that. They might have a little movement to the left or a little movement to the right, but they're gonna be, relatively speaking, fairly straight. Now, once you get comfortable with that, that's when we start to really add a little power. And when I'm practicing, what I would tell you is, I will take this drill, I'll do, I set the bag back, and then when I go to go practice, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that's in the green, and it is. Now I'm gonna move far enough away where the club really doesn't hit that bag, particularly in the downswing. And when you look in the downswing, you can see the head of the golf club is well inside the bag right there, so I don't have any fear of hitting it. But I now have that still, I, I have that feeling that the bag is there for my backswing. I get a little visual there. And then I just get used to that motion. What that feels like to avoid the bag. And what I can tell you is, is that as you start to practice this drill, this is a wonderful thing to do indoors. We're trying to help you improve your game because we know, look, you know what? It's hard sometimes to get outside and work on what you're doing. So what I would tell you is, do this, set this up. It's a simple thing to set up and I'll show you something else you can do to help you set it up. You get yourself an alignment stick, put the alignment stick down on the ground and what you can see is that alignment stick is gonna be just a little bit on the top side of that golf bag right there. And so what I have now is I have a little practice station and if you could just get into your, into your uh, house, apartment, room, office, whatever, and do this little drill 
for 10 minutes a night, your swing is going to improve dramatically in 30 days. I promise you, it'll improve dramatically in 30 days. Make sure I'm in the green here. I am. Make that backswing, get that feeling of that club tracking up just where I want it. That was pretty good there. Just a little tight draw, start down the little, the center, and then twist to the left. Only about 600 RPMs of left spin. Greg, can you replay that one for us too? Watch how this starts out to the left and then just has a little twist to the left. So as you start getting comfortable with your motion, what you're gonna find is, is that that one there, 600 RPMs to the left, not a lot of spin. That's a relatively straight shot. So when you get to where you can create relatively straight shots, what you're gonna start to see is more consistency with what's happening in your dispersion left and right. And as you get more and more comfortable with your dispersion left and right, and knowing that you're not gonna hit this dramatically left shot or dramatically right shot, now all of a sudden you're going to get the consistency that you've been begging for and it's right there for you all you got to do is get your golf bag set it down properly make some swings practice work on that stuff and as you start to do that you're going to improve your game